Hi there, this is Lisa from Cookery Nation. Today we're going to make homemade chickpea falafel. These are really easy to make, a lot easier than you think. Now let's get started. You're going to need some dried chickpeas, not canned, some onions and other seasonings listed in the recipe. Canned chickpeas will be too wet. Do not use them. We prefer to use dried chickpeas that have been soaked and they'll swell up and have enough moisture in them. You're going to throw your chickpeas into your food processor along with all the spices. Start by pulsing it a few times just to get the mixture started and then you can get it on full on power. It might take a couple of minutes and in between you're going to want to scrape down the sides just to make sure that you're incorporating all of the chickpeas and this might take a couple of goes. If you find that your food processor can't quite fit all of the chickpeas and the ingredients and it's not moving as much as you'd like, you can easily take out some and then just process in two batches. When you're done, you'll know that you're done because the chickpea mixture will be kind of, it'll be coarse, it'll be kind of the texture of couscous, but you do not want to over mix it because it'll just turn into a paste which is essentially seasoned hummus. We don't want that. We still want a bit of texture to it. So once you're done, you'll put it in a bowl and you'll see how crumbly it is but it is not dry and you'll see that when we squeeze it into a ball it holds its form. So you're going to want to uh, put it in the bowl. Sometimes I let my mixture sit in the fridge for a couple of hours just so that the seasoning can really mature. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to both bake and deep fry our falafel. So we're going to form them into these little patties. Some people make uh, little balls, but I like to kind of flatten them out. And I don't make them overly big because I'd like them to cook at a nice even rate and not take very long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press these out. And at first they may seem like they're going to be all crumbly, but they will hold together. Um, at this point, if you've used canned chickpeas, they will just be mushy. So they will seem a bit dry, but in the baking or deep frying, they will come together and hold. So we're going to put a batch into the oven at 350 degrees for about a half an hour, and we're going to flip it at the 15 minute mark. These ones we're going to deep fry. You want your frying oil hot enough that it bubbles nicely but not so hot that it cooks the outside before the middle is cooked. So if it feels like it's taking a lot less than maybe a minute or so for the outside to get brown on one side, your oil might be a little bit too hot and you might want to turn it down. I'm just shallow frying it in a frying pan. You can use a deep fryer, dedicated deep fryer if you have one but I just use a little bit of oil and I will flip them after about two, three minutes. So it'll take about five minutes in total in a shallow pan. And once they're done, um, you flip them over and I don't normally put them onto a paper towel. I will put them just on a cooling rack and allow them to cool. Now, one thing to remember is that you can make these ahead of time and reheat them. They don't take long at all to reheat. So you have to watch them like a hawk or they will burn. And that goes for both the baked ones and the deep fried ones. Another big benefit to these is that you can make them ahead of time and freeze them, either already cooked or uncooked. Just put them in the fridge when you want to thaw them out and cook them from thawed and not frozen. They're a great way to have some on hand whenever you want falafel. So we're putting them on the rack and we're just going to let them cool and we'll serve them. 
These are the deep fried ones. The outside is very crispy, shattering crispy. And this is actually my preferred method. But if you want to have some that are not so heavy in the oil, you can bake them. These are the baked ones, very crispy, nice and crunchy, just not so much oil. Serve it with your favorite sauce. And I like tahini sauce or tzatziki sauce, whatever your preference is. This is how easy falafels are. I encourage you to give them a try, make them ahead of time, and uh, have some in the freezer whenever you want. For more recipe ideas, come to cookerynation.com. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.